Okay, today we're going to change the transmission fluid on this 2015 Honda Odyssey. I do this every 30,000 miles, sometimes more frequently if I'm towing, but let's get started. Okay, here's everything you need. Extra towels, that's a 3 8 inch socket, jack stands, crush washers, your jack, three, it takes 3.3 .3 quarts, so I need to go grab another one of this um, ATF DW1 transmission. This, like I said, this is 2015, so check yours, but this is what mine takes. And there's links below in the description to everything that I'm using today. Uh, catch pan, and then I'm going to use that skinny funnel to fill it back up. Okay, the transmission fluid dipstick is right here. Go ahead and take that out before you start removing the fluid. Okay, so I jack jacked it up, put in the jack stands, and chalked the back tires. And this is where the drain plug is at. Right here, this is where your 3 8 socket goes in. Okay, so I've got my pan there. Now let's go ahead and crack this. Go ahead and remove this and just hand remove this. The engine was pretty cold, so it didn't gush out too bad. Let that drain, there's gonna be about three, 3.3 3 quarts coming out. Okay, while that's draining, let's go ahead and get the drain plug cleaned up. There's gonna be a little bit of metal shavings here. Very fine, it's a little magnet right there. The first time I did this, there was some larger chunks, but this is the third time around, and you can see it's a little metallic, but nothing serious. And go ahead and replace your crush washer as well. Okay, so we're done draining. I've got my new crush washer on. I'm going to hand tighten this. And then, I don't have a torque wrench, but I'm going to use the same 3 8 inch socket and just tighten it down. I'm not going to go Hulk, Hulk mode on it, but just get it nice and snug. And then just clean this up, and oftentimes a little ATF will drip down on this pan, so clean up that too. Okay, so one thing I like to do is get an old oil, empty oil jug, and actually pour the ATF in there to make sure I actually pulled out 3.3 .3 quarts. It's also a good time to take a look at the actual transmission fluid and see what it looks like. This is definitely used, but it doesn't smell burnt or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually pull out about 3.4 quarts of automatic transmission fluid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in. The actual fill plug is back in the back on top of the transmission, but I think the dipstick's just as easy. All right, so like I said, 3.4 quarts is what I pulled out, so that's what I'm gonna put back in. And I'm gonna check my dipstick in uh, park neutral drive, run through all the gears, and check the dipstick, and then I'm all set. Hope this was helpful. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if this helped you out any. Take care.